What's up, everybody? Tindo here. That there's Hannah Warrior Princess. And today's Friday, at least as of shooting this, you're probably watching it on a Saturday, maybe a Sunday. But being as it's Friday, that means that the weekend is coming, which means we need to get to our flea market booth, restock that bad boy so we can get some great sales this weekend. But we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna start the day at Goodwill. So stick around. something I really enjoy. This is a cute little laptop table. And it like has little legs and everything. It's really nice. It's got a little drawer on the side right there too. They want $17 for it. And this this Goodwill's a bit notorious for hiking up their prices because it's in a nice part of town. I guess they assume people have money for it, but um, not gonna get it, but I do like this. This is $8. It's a really cute little, little jewelry display case. I might just want that for my booth because I could put like little earrings in there or something. That's actually really cute. It's only eight bucks. I think I'm gonna get that. I like it. So our sweet little kitty Mochi loves to play with literally anything. And so she has been as of late tearing up my hair ties. And so she's been chewing them and cutting them in half. This is like a little yarn ball thing. Um, it's only a dollar. I'm kind of considering getting that for her so she can tear up something that I don't care about. All right, not a bad first stop. I got Sims busting out for the PS2. I already had it for the Xbox, but not the PS2. And Hannah got some nonsense. I got a little display case for like jewelry or something. Did you get a ball of yarn? I did so that Mochi can stop ripping up my hair ties. Hannah bought yarn for the cat. Nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep moving. All right, here we are. Next stop, Goodwill, right next to El Super. And then there's a Harbor Freight over here. It's everything you need, one stop. Found some really cute glasses. I like these a lot. They're like little pair butts on the bottom. I like it. And there's five of them here, so I'm gonna get all of those. Looks good. Well, this is a strange one. PS3 controller, $14.49, and then $6.49. Hmm. Strange. out of these buzzes, but this buzz is missing his helmet. And actually, he's not one of the good ones. He's one of the cheaper ones. Not very poseable, but I cannot get enough of these. I'm trying to line my whole flea market booth with them, so I will buy that for $249. Holy cannoli, I found some inbox Libby glasses. These are so cute. Little farmhouse kind of vibes. There's four of them. And they're all $5 a piece, so definitely gonna be able to use the coupon for them. Um, I think I'm gonna put them in the booth. I might throw them up on eBay. They kind of go for $20 a piece, so for the for the box, but um, I like them a lot. I think I'm gonna get them. Well, hello there, Luigi, with no price. Of course you don't have a price. You gotta come home with me, though. Well, actually, when I say you gotta come home, you, you're going straight to the toy booth. All right, Hannah, you bought a bunch of Moo Moo glass. They're so cute. They are. I just feel like this is the perfect thing to put in my dish booth. Like someone's gonna be like, oh my God, farmhouse. Okay, so you bought these to put in your flea market yeah. booth? Yeah. All right, that, that makes sense. That checks out. They're so pretty. And then, ooh, I didn't even see these. They're apple bottom glasses. <laughs> Like not literally, but super close. <laughs> Is that what all these are? Yeah, they're all the same. Oh, okay. So how many of them are there? There's five of them. They're pretty. Look at that bottom. It's almost like a plastic bottle's bottom. They're really cute. Weird. Oh, they're made in Italy. More glasses. 
And then I got some nonsense. PS3 controller. Yay. Let's go. There was two of them in there. And one of them was six bucks. The other was 14. And the six dollar one was in better condition. I don't, I don't That's know. That's weird. Uh, yeah. Enough said there. Great. And your boy Luigi. He'll, was, he'll sell. That was a good stop. All yeah. right. We're going to head on to our toy booth now. Uh, to our flea market. And get some stuff stocked in there and then we'll probably hit some more goodwills after that so stick around we now interrupt this thrifting trip to go to our flea market pretty hype more stuff on the shelves equals more money we got a lot of stuff to put price tags on though so we're going to be here for a little bit but then we'll get back on the road and get to thrifting so let's talk a little bit about our flea market booth before we get started because i've been getting uh, the same question over and over how do you take care of your toy booth how do you make sure stuff doesn't get stolen and uh, these questions made me realize that uh, well i mean i already knew this but it i didn't really think about it in terms of explaining it to you guys it made me realize i need to explain this to some people uh, this type of flea market booth where you set up your own space and then the store at large kind of takes care of everything else as far as taking payments and uh, uh, watching over the security of your booth that kind of thing in america is pretty normal um, it's more normal in the midwest where i'm from from i grew up with this kind of store uh, i i grew up going to these kinds of stores all my life uh, but you go a little further west and this kind of thing is not exactly normal you don't find it everywhere <laughs> oh, it gets me too. That one's, let me look how much she put on it. It's the expensive one, I'm just warning you. It's 120. Kind of in the same booth. You know, if you, if you want to get it, I'll go ahead and throw a $100 sticker on it. I have a piggy bank of him. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's tough. Uh, Thank you again. Yep, you guys enjoy your day. Got that bad boy sold. We'll ask Hannah when she gets back if she notices anything missing, but I don't remember what I was saying before all that started. Uh, yeah, this kind of thing's pretty normal. There are security cameras all over the place. Uh, it's pretty well taken care of. You're never gonna stop everything from being stolen. Uh, I'm sure people have already walked out with my stickers in their pockets, but that's just part of doing business, really. Uh, but hopefully wherever you live, this kind of thing might be normal one day too. But we gotta get to stocking stuff up and then, uh, then we'll find something else to do. You notice anything missing? Oh no. Look hard. We just sold the Stormtrooper helmet. Oh sweet. I, I took 20 bucks off of it. All right, here comes the best part of today's decorative activities. Oh yes. I'm actually a little bit bummed because I've got like four more of these and I didn't bring them all but eventually eventually we're gonna have this bad boy lined with minecraft torches yes yes please more of this please I, I kind of didn't space them very well as you scoot over a few inches but it's all right they're not really gonna sit there permanently because I am gonna put 10 more there we live in minecraft world yeah. Now we acquired some Fortnite stickers to add to our stickers, and it's getting to be a little bit, uh, a little bit too much to handle here with this, uh, with the stickers that we have because people just keep rifling through them. I try to keep like Pokemon in here, kind of, kind of like anime stuff in here, Office and Parks and Rec in here. We've sold next to all of the Parks and Rec stickers, uh, but we've got some Fortnite. Where do I put those? Essentially, what I'm getting at is we're going to have to get a much bigger space for stickers that i can actually label these tubs and like right down the side of them you know there's pokemon stickers boom put that on the shelf and then boom parks and rec stickers on the shelf i think that'll be better when we get there eventually uh, but we don't really have the space for that we're gonna i'm really feeling like in a couple months we're gonna have to upgrade to a bigger booth here all right this is how it works luigi that we just bought at the thrift not five minutes ago going on the shelf next to the rest of his homeboys uh kid actually just walked away with uh kirby so rip kirby pour one out for the homie kirby all right you're all falling over you all okay we'll get this right eventually let's just redo it goomba you're top heavy quit eating so many goombas <sighs> look at this we got a huge 
we got a basket full. It only had like 10 in there before we started, but we filled it out. And honestly, we have tons and tons more. If you guys watch the channel regularly, you'll know that we bought a big old bag full of those, or a big old bunch of bags full of those a few days ago. But the intention here is to not overfill anything and just refill it as they sell. So I'm happy about that. I think everything is nice in stock now. Hopefully we have some great sales this weekend. Honestly, we're already off to a great start. You saw all those people buying stuff. Let's go. Seriously though, let's go to the thrift store. All right, all right, all right. Interestingly, today was actually payday for our booth. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain though, but because of all the closures surrounding the coronavirus, this was actually just a paycheck for one day. Uh, but it's a pretty good amount for one day. Go cash that and get something to drink. Yeah. I'm gonna have a large ocean water and a Route 44 cherry limeade, please. This one's yours. Thank you very much. Yeah. Blue sugar water. Blue sugar water. So good. Take a slurp. Do it. Do it without your hands. Oh, you already did it. I did it. I failed. One, one five. Ah. <laughs> Was it strong? It's good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on thrifting. All right, what color is half off today? Pink. Pink. We gotta find some pink stickers. That's we we tried to start thrifting earlier in the morning today because if you get there early enough, you'll find some pink stickers that are a dollar. Specifically on Friday, that's what happens here on Fridays. No luck yet, but it's later in the day now, and now we're approaching the normal time. It's good to go to re Goodwill because of restocking. So hopefully it's win-win. We'll either find new stuff that's restocked, or we'll find some pink stickers. Fingers crossed. There's lots of Nerf guns here. What is happening? Look at here. <laughs> I still got it. Some pretty cool lamps here. There's like these little fairy lamps. I mean, I know someone would really like them. They want $10 a piece on them. It's not a bad price. Um, there's like this oil lamp that I really like too. Mm. That's about it though. They're very interesting. I don't know about the fairy lamps. I might get them, but still thinking. I think we maybe hit the mother load 449. There's two chains for Vulcans, one clip, handful of darts, a grip, and a barrel. I think that's right at right at doable. Found some vintage Pyrex for da 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 da. Way too much. No thanks. That's a pretty cool piece. The little Dutch oven, but 10 bucks, uh, I'm on the fence. This thing I thought was Pyrex, but it's actually by Sears, but it might be my favorite dish ever because it says kissing don't last, but cookery do. <laughs> I love that. All right, check it out. It's a Fortnite nerf. Definitely gonna get that though. It is missing its bullet, and that bullet is actually not really cheap to buy, but uh, we'll get it. All right, well, I just bought hella Nerf guns, and like all these Nerf guns right here, 15 to there's actually a $35 Nerf gun here. I just paid 20 bucks for all of them. So that's gonna be a nice little flip, but we got so many because we were right at the point of where, with our 20% off coupon, it's almost cheaper to get another gun than it is to not. So that's how they get you, I guess. But I'm leaving with a, a bunch of Nerf guns and then open that bag up, pull the bag out. I wanna show them this chain. See these chains with bullets in them? It's kind of hard to see, but those chains actually go to this big yellow gun. And I've never put one entirely together on the channel. I need to do that sometimes because it has a lot of pieces. It's got a box the chain goes in and a tripod it sits on and just a bunch of stuff. We'll do that sometime, but they're really nice for resale when you get them all together. All right, another Goodwill. We're moving right along. The wind is picking up. What is, are you doing the running man? Come on. She's embarrassing. Uh-oh bunch of Beyblade. That's about to be fine of the day. Oh my God. Just don't look at me. Just don't look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. 
Check it, check it out. 949 for a wee, uh, we'll take. Same. Why are you so weird? <laughs> That might have been the best $20 I've ever spent at one thrift store. Bag full of Beyblade, which I'm selling for about $3 a piece. There's always a couple or there's always a launcher that's worth a little bit more. So this bag's probably $50, $60 worth of resale altogether with the special launchers that are in there. Hey. And then I got a stack of games. Let's do those last. Hannah, show them the Wii. Uh, we're almost out of Wii motes, So unfortunately I didn't come with them, but I think we've got at least one left. If not, I'll rob one from my collection or something. Um, Best stack of games I've gotten in a little while. The Quest Trio, just a little puzzle game, no big deal. Uh, Turtle, let's see, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus, which I didn't have, so that's great. Shinmu 2 I do already have, I think, and I'm pretty sure a buddy of mine, Aaron, gave it to me. But I don't remember. I don't remember if it was one or two or three. But at any rate, you can't leave a game that good setting on the shelves. You know it'd what I'm be, saying? It'd be sad. It'd be sad. So, and I actually didn't even get this on camera. I, I, as we were leaving, I saw this. I was like, I better grab that. Where's Waddle? Let's go. I'm playing that later. <laughs> For sure. I can't imagine what this could be like on my little screen, but I'm into Super it. Super hard. But right now, this is my fight of the day. Right now, this is probably mine. Just because you want to make some money? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to get home and play with these Beyblades. You want to Beyblade battle me? I, let me be really honest with you right now. I've never played with Beyblades. Divor Ever. Divorce. Hey! All right, we're at the next Goodwill and there's two or three Popo cars out front. So we might be walking into something serious. Also, there were a big stack of laser discs at this Goodwill when we were here the other day. And when I was at home editing that day's video, I realized there was a couple that I'd accidentally mixed back up and left here that I wanted. There was a RoboCop laser disc. So if that's still here today, we'll buy, but I'm not holding my breath. So this is like my third pass through the dishes section because there is so much on these racks that like, I just don't feel like I have adequately seen it all. I just keep looking and I'm like, um, I can't even fit it in all my, I see, I miss these cast irons. Let's see, right out the gate, they don't look great. They look a little rough. Yeah, they're just lodged. That's a bummer. Lodge is sold at Walmart and not worth the $7 price tags that are on it. So we're gonna pass on those. This is really pretty though. It keeps catching my eye. It's a, like a saucier kind of thing. I don't even know what it is. These little copper pots are cute. And where to put anything. Aw. Little like tiny tins. I guess you can hang them on your wall. They're more decorative than actual like functional. <sighs> the search continues. It's like, even over there, it's so full. I can't look at everything. There are definitely less laser discs than there were. But come on, where's RoboCop? Oh, yes. Yes, we'll buy. You may be wondering, Hannah, why don't you ever look at the jeans anymore? I do look at them. There's a reason that I haven't been able to find very much lately. It's because after they first opened, there was a ton to choose from because everything had just been kind of like sitting, waiting for the stores to reopen again. But now that things are like normal, they kind of just been overpricing things and I can't really justify spending as much on the things that I normally want to get. And honestly, I'm just waiting for the Goodwill bins to open it back up so that I can get things again. Ooh, it's not wireless, but it is an Xbox One controller and I need a second one. Remember on the channel the other day when I bought an Xbox One? Well, I had one controller for it. Now, if we want to play some two player games, Hannah can plug this up and play. I'm not sure what the situation with the police here was, but I did hear the cop telling uh, one of the ladies that he had taken aside that she was no longer allowed to come back here. So some stuff must have went down. Super serious time with those cops over there. Yeah, no joke. I walked out and heard them telling the, the women they couldn't come back here. Oh, wow. Part man, part machine, all cop. Glad we got that. It was so funny because I had nightmares 
as I said earlier when I was editing, I was like, oh my god, I left RoboCop. And as soon as I posted my, the video, my brother texted me and was like, why did you leave RoboCop? I was like, I don't know. All right, what else did we get? We didn't get a whole lot there. Just as Hannah gets the, the, the spare wired controller. It's not wireless, don't be fooled. You gotta plug it up. And That's okay. one Nerf part. All right, let's, let's get out of here before the fuzz starts looking at us. We are in a creepy van. We do look suspicious AF. The pin is on the seatbelt. Well, that's weird. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know, but I did wonder why I was in that Goodwill where my pin went. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Another Goodwill. We've been to this Goodwill a lot lately, but it's been all right, so we keep coming back. <laughs> look at you running for nothing. Oh, wow. Today's a good day. 549. 749, it's a little high, but this one's yellow. And the yellow one's a bit rare. Oh no, someone broke a hurricane lamp. Rip. I would have bought that. You see this? So sad. Yeah. Ice cream maker. No, I don't. Ooh, okay. I'm better. It's a little Christmassy. I don't know if I want it, actually. Well, I'm gonna have to buy both of these. These are hole punches. That one's like a rather large circle. That circle on the top's not true to the size that it actually cuts. It's about a two and three quarter, almost four inch circle cutter. And then this one's more for scrapbooking, but I could use that to make some cool stickers, I think. So let's get them both. We'll take. All right, that's a pretty good stop. This was five bucks, but it's complete. Well, it is missing a barrel, but I've got some of those. But I could sell that whole thing for $25 or so, just because it's kind of a special one. This is actually pretty rare. I don't particularly like this gun. It's just kind of terrible. It doesn't, ha it doesn't shoot very hard. It's kind of those old school ones that didn't have as much springiness as these newer ones do. But because this one in particular is yellow, it, uh, it's a little bit more rare. So somebody will actually want to buy that one. So I was happy to find that. I haven't seen this gun since I moved here. Uh, Hannah, what did you get? I got some Tupperware. They were a dollar. Not bad. And retro. Uh, where's those games that I got? Here's the cutter tool. I got two cutters for some sticker making that we're gonna do. I'll have to measure this circle to see exactly how big it is. This isn't like, oh, here's a precise circle. This is just like here for your scrapbooking. These are quite expensive to buy new, so it was nice to grab. I did not get these on camera in the store, but I picked up Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, Dub Edition, and Big Daddy UMD. Very nice. Very happy about those. We've got a car full of stuff right now. Look at these Nerf guns. Boom! It's ridiculous. We live a we live a ridiculous existence. We are at our storage unit because we've done so much thrifting in the last week or two. We have hoarded my van up. And to be honest with you, we've hoarded it up mostly with Nerf guns, so we're gonna get them on this here rack. As far as Nerf guns go, that's probably fine of the day. But so this shoots a big FU dart shoots the same dart as that one. There's another gun or two here that shoot these huge bazooka darts and they're not cheap to buy. So I need to find a cheap alternative, right? Better yet, I need to buy some like pool noodles and make some to sell at our toy booth. It's funny, this shelf was completely full last week. We went and stocked the toy booth and it's empty. And now I'm about to fill her up again. I'm telling you, we're about, what is it? A week now, two weeks from having a little bit more space than we've had so far. And uh, I'll be able to actually, we've got a space our screen printing machine is gonna go into and uh, we'll have more shelves in here once we get that space just for Nerf gun and some of the other type of stuff like this that we resell. I'm so excited about it. We've been talking about having more space for months and months. We're finally gonna have it. And uh, we'll be able to do a lot more interesting things when we do because wouldn't it be pretty cool to come in here and just have like, boom, this generation of Nerf guns on this shelf, boom, that generation of Nerf guns on that shelf and really see them organized in a cool way. I mean, I'm still not really in the territory of collecting Nerf guns. 
I would if we had if space were no issue whatsoever and we could do whatever we wanted I'd probably keep one of everything because there's at this point there's no Nerf gun that I haven't owned at least briefly even the rare ones so when we get more and more space down the road maybe that's something we'll do but for now we're locked down to a couple shelves in the storage unit but it's good I'm glad to see that shelf falling back up I uh I don't know I haven't been counting how many Nerf guns we bought in the last couple weeks but it's been a lot. All right, guys, today was a great day. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Let's talk a little bit about all the stuff that we got. I mean, we got a Wii. That was awesome for 10 bucks. So I'm really happy about that because we've been selling those so well. And then Hannah got some cool stuff, lots of stuff for her flea market booth. It's going to be awesome. You guys definitely subscribe for that if you haven't already because you're going to want to know when Hannah goes and sets up her own flea market booth full of dishes and all kinds of other stuff. It's really going to be a cool series when we get to doing that. Um, also, what else did we get? I got these button punches. I keep calling them button punches, but they're, they're hole punches. I use them to make buttons, but I'm very excited about these because when we got home today on our, fr on our front steps in an Amazon box was some sticker paper. So we're gonna get into making our own stickers a little bit. I mean, I'm probably most excited about this for making stickers, both for the merch store, some very specific, like like a head of warrior princess sticker, just cool stuff to put on our merch store. But also like I have a sticker obsession. So like making my own Power Ranger stickers and stuff I always wanted to be stickers that isn't, like that'll be cool. Um, but when I get to making said stickers, uh, I can use my vinyl cutter to cut them out. But sometimes if I just want a big circle sticker, that's awesome. And then like, if you got something a little bit more cartoony, that'll be a cool punch to use. I've been buying up all of these punches that I can at the thrift because they're quite expensive at the store. So anything that's a shape I might use someday, I'm getting them. And one of these days on the channel, I'm gonna build either a workstation or some sort of big rolly toolbox that is nothing but my sticker and button making uh, tools all together in one place where I can always access them whenever I want. The games that I got today were pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about this haul. Uh, one of the better hauls in the last couple weeks, at least of games. I've probably had a couple days in the last couple weeks that the haul of gaming consoles and peripherals was better. And I think you guys know what day I'm talking about. If not, go back and watch the last couple weeks worth of videos because we've had some wild ones. I got this because it was a Greatest Hits edition. I already had the regular one, Midnight Club 3. Sims busting out. Uh, this is pretty awesome because we're getting really close right here off camera having a shelf full of every Sims game ever made. That's going to be pretty cool when we get there. Where's Waldo? Big Daddy PSP UMD. Hot Shots Golf, which is pretty cool because uh, I didn't have one on PS3, so that's awesome. Something I'll actually play really soon. Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. Very nice. I was happy about that one. The Quest Trio because I guess it's got Mahjong some other puzzle games on it shinmu 2 probably find of the day i mean come on that's awesome very happy about today's haul you guys comment below if anything comes to mind that was your favorite thing that we got today let me know uh i appreciate you guys hanging out with us the days are starting to feel a little bit longer just because it's getting hotter i mean look at this sweat on my forehead it is it's it's probably 105 degrees or so it's not so bad it gets worse here in a few weeks and i'm dreading it a little bit but that's why you see me rocking these tank tops every day because it's just hot here that's all there is to it but guys seriously thanks for hanging out with us do me a couple favors before we get out of here all right i'd appreciate it if you go check out our merch store where we'll be posting some stickers just as soon as i get a couple whipped up right go check that out tendostrash.com also before you get out of here go join our discord it is uh this is probably going to be the time that we we remember as the golden days on the discord just because like it's so populated right now there's so many people over there chatting and having a good time and sharing pictures of their video games etc etc don't miss out don't miss out on this time because who knows what it's gonna be like when it gets super super crowded right now it's a manageable number of people come hang out with us seriously it'll be a fun time and then uh, i don't know what else could i ask of you i guess before you get out of here uh hit that subscribe button pretty please uh we just passed 2000 subs and for some reason it feels like we're moving a little bit faster than we were so if you could help me keep that momentum by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already i'd greatly appreciate it because 3000 subs would be pretty cool you know what i'm saying that's it guys that's it for today come back tomorrow because we do post daily videos here and until tomorrow peace out guys Thank you.